Hey, everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope you're doing well. We're going to talk about prepping and uh, I believe a plan to uh, take away your ability to prepare. And so I want to get this information out to you as soon as possible uh, so that you can take advantage of this situation. I think this is very serious because I'm seeing a narrative change and Amazon and other retailers are going to start stop uh, selling certain items that are very vital for people that are preparing to, for food shortages. And so let's just dive right in. But I'm going to share with you first the, the story that I want you to be able to take advantage of. But then I'm going to show you the narrative. OK, so stick around for that. So this is the story. Amazon tells sellers to ditch their Mylar stash bags. Now, let's make this very clear. Uh, Mylar bags are used so much by the prepping uh, community. People that want to store food, they do it in jars, canning, things like that. They also use Mylar bags, right? And so this is a big deal because Amazon is such a large seller of Mylar bags. It says right here, uh, Amazon's instructions to sellers about Mylar bags raise some eyebrows on its announcement board due to regulatory requirements, all Mylar bags that are not clear or single colored must be removed from the Amazon store, okay? So a lot of people go, yeah, that makes sense because you know these are a little different than other ones, yada, yada. The facts of the matter are, they're gonna stop selling these types of bags, right? Which are gonna make uh, a demand for the ones that they have, right? Which means, you know, there's only so many of those that can go around. But this is what I think is very important, is a narrative that is starting to change, right? And what's one way they can get you to stop preparing? Well, they do things like put increased regulations on you by, you know, the way you farm, the way you garden, how you can sell it, if you can even sell the goods that you produce on your own land. Uh, another way is to take away the uh, items that, it, that you use. They want and when I say they, government, powers of be, whoever you want to put in there, they want you dependent on the system and uh, their just-in-time delivery system, which is quite frankly, very, very weak. Now, here's the narrative. Check this out. This story came out, let's say, I don't know, was it six days ago, I think it was? Yeah, about six days ago. No, two days ago. And it's uh, entitled Sustaining... St Sustaining Sustainability, the Waste Problem in Oklahoma Oklahoma's Cannabis Industry and the innovators at the helm of change. And what they do is they're talking about all these plastic containers, but they also uh, put in Mylar bags. It says, if you've been to a cannabis dispensary, chances are you've seen hundreds of plastic containers and double zippered bags that line the shelves. Most of that plastic will end up in a landfill, but eco-friendly packaging can be pricey and environmental. Sustainability in Oklahoma's competitive cannabis industry is providing sustainability or proving sustainable for some. So what they're doing is they're talking about the waste, the waste, and they, they, this is about Mylar bags, right? Then you could see a story from a few days prior. This is the one that came out, what, about six, seven days ago. And it's entitled, entitled Mad Mole Tackles New Recycling Initiative to Lessen Plastic Waste. It says down here, uh, it talks about uh, North Carolina boasts the most craft breweries and brew pubs, right? 380 of them through its economic impact at 1.3 billion. It says that's super impressive, right? But then it talks about the plastics. It says plastics in particular pose a problem and not just in the ring carriers securing four and six pack cans. Number five, woven plastic bags made from polypropylene remain the standard packaging. And they talk about craft breweries and stuff like that. And then they also talk about Mylar. And my point being is that we're starting to see this narrative about the green initiative. We need to be more sustainable. And I totally agree with recycling. I think recycling is an awesome program. Don't get me wrong. I recycle. I, I like that. But I want people to understand that I, as we see Mylar bags being taken off the market, if you aren't into canning right now or learning how to preserve uh, food items, in different uh, containers outside of Mylar, you might need to start learning right now or pick yourself up some. So I just wanna bring this out and put this in your, uh, your wheelhouse, your thought process right now when you're starting to prepare or you're, you're still preparing because I don't want people caught unaware. Now I'm gonna link all these stories uh, below as, as always, but I just wanted to, you guys to know that as of right now, Amazon is going to stop selling certain Mylar products, Mylar bags for, for storage. All right, guys, hope you got something out of this. And also please in the comment section, put neat, interesting ways that you're storing food for hard times in the comment section below it really does help people out. All right, guys, that being said, the Economic Ninja is out.